everybody, this is Selfinator, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong 64 Part 3, or 13, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, unlucky number 13, of course, and I apologize for all the cuts in last episode, which I guess number tw I guess the number 12 is my unlucky number, because, I don't know, I love it how, for, I guess it's just from my first LP, I was like, oh man, unlucky number 13, once I got the part 13, but it turned out really well. And then, 12, man, keep on getting called, all sorts of interruptions, things not going well, I don't know, I guess 13 is my lucky number, uh, which is not that great Think while thinking about it. While I'm thinking about that, um, I guess, there we go. Oh, four bananas. Where am I missing those four? Wow. I don't know how I didn't get hurt there, but, um, I'll take it. And only for a coin. Huh. Okay. And of course, like last time, this really, this is really dark. Like, you might think dark. You know, no, this is dark. Um, but anyway, keep this in mind because I'll be heading back to, I'll be coming back here in a little bit. I actually want to see what's on the other side. Maybe I can find the other bit, other uh, few bananas that I need or that I'm missing. Um, because I'm just missing. Oh, it's just a coin. So I don't know where I'd be missing four bananas. Four bananas. Hmm. I guess that'll just be a note for later, and we'll either this time when we, uh, when I finish up this, when I'm finishing up this world, we'll, uh, I guess try to unravel that mystery. But, uh, of course, get, get out. out! Yeah, um, this, whenever I was a kid, I thought this was instant death, but it's really not. Um, you can actually that shot there that that crosshair you can actually dodge that that blast if you're good enough you can dodge it and I have dodged it in the past but it's really tough um, let's see here. should I I oh, might as well just take on DK take on DK's next um, of course I would launch myself straight into that uh, or lime Lime bomb or lime grenade—I don't know. Uh, all I—I I don't really know all of the uh, all the names of all these uh, all this ammunition. But uh, anyway, um, oh, I keep I keep on forgetting about talking about this. Um, so how many of you have uh, how many of you watched E3 this year? A E3 2012 or. If you're watching this in the future, how many of you have, uh, how many of you, oh no. Yeah, those guys are a little bit more dangerous than just the barrel Kremlin, the regular barrel Kremlins. And there wasn't really much of any prize there either, so, I don't know. But wait, I'm not really looking for any bananas, I'm just, well... I'm not looking for any banana bunches, I'm just looking for... Uh, I'll take some coins. Um, but anyway... Uh, for those of you who have seen uh, E3 2012, what'd you guys think? Uh, who do you think won? Or what games are you looking for? Looking, uh, 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 looking forward to? And please... Uh, please, leave, leave whatever you thought about the conference, anything about that, Leave it down in the description, um, and I don't know. Let's strike up a conversation about it, because um, I'm just interested to see what uh, what other people thought of the whole the whole thing. Uh, personally, to me, I felt if I was to give each uh, conference uh, of the big three, I didn't really watch Ubisoft or um, or EA because. I'm not really interested. Well, there are a couple, there are quite a few titles that I'm interested in for Ubisoft, but not not too interested. Um, 
And EA, I hate sports games. I I don't like sports games at all. And I mean, I know that's what EA does. So, I mean, that's not all they do. But, might as well be. <laughs> In my opinion. But anyway... Man, I keep on hiccuping. Uh, but anyway... Um, if I was to rate the... Uh, the conferences I would have to say and give them give them grades I would say Microsoft got an F Microsoft had nothing good nothing in my opinion maybe one game well they really they teased it they oh that's where Diddy's red bananas are Oh, and that actually has a time limit on it. I did not know that. Um, I mean, okay, Microsoft did show off a, uh, a Gears, what, looked like Gears 4 trailer. But it just didn't have it, but I'm not, just for me personally. Uh, I've never played Gears. And I, maybe maybe one day I, want, I would like to, but I've just never played Gears. And, so I don't know the story. I have no attachment to the to the series. So there was just nothing there for me. Um. Oh, hey, there's a balloon. Uh, let's see here. But uh, for Sony, I other than Wonder Book, ugh, Wonder Book. Um. Oh my gosh, this thing is moving at a million miles per hour. <laughs> I can't. Where, where did, oh, there it is. I thought it just like disappeared. I'm like, what the hell is going on? All right, I guess I'm gonna have to sit here and just keep firing. There we go. Oh, and that finished him up. Fantastic. Um, oh, Wonder Book. That's that's the only thing that um, I I mean, it didn't hurt the presentation. It was just we didn't need 20 minutes of Wonder Book. That was that's insane. Um, did I walk past this? Oh, I did walk past this, like, twice. Um, but overall, I felt that Sony, their, uh, their conference was a, was a solid B. Maybe B+. Plus. Um, oh, okay. Here we go. Oh, no! No! Not the worst minigame, but really bad. Once you... Hold on. There's a bit of lag here. I'm just keep on pressing tap and B. Die! I swear I'm better than this. Not by much, but, you know. Hold on, Shh. Come on, Grasshopper. You must swap the fly. Be one with the swatter. Be one with the swat. I don't know why I'm just... I started talking to myself in my dad. Oh, come on! There we go. Oh my god, if I pull this off, I swear. No! Do it! No! Oh, I was so close. Yes, I do want to try again. Um, did I mention that I hate this uh, mini game? Not. It, it's not. It's not the most. Once we get to the most, the one that I hate the most, then we will. I'll show like. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but you guys. I mean, it's pretty much the one that almost everybody hates. Wow. That was really easy. <laughs> the second time around. Um, there's just like one that I know a lot of people do not like. And, um, and it's not surprising uh, why people do not like it. I'm actually going to check over here really quick and see if there's anything of interest. Nope. Going to run. I'm running. I'm running. Um, oh, got turned around. Um, 
so I guess you guys will get to see. Oh my gosh, I guess you guys will get to see the uh, the uh, the blast. Two, one. Huh? There is a way to dodge that. There is. It's just really hard. Um. So. Uh. How much time we got? Oh, okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Um, maybe not enough time to fight the... Well, hold on. Before I forget... Um, oh, wait a minute, though. We... Um... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. To make this as, um... As together as possible. Um, so, you know, I'm honestly just surprised that I, in two videos, I got my shit together. I got, I know where everything is now. I found all the bananas for the four Kongs that we have so far. Um, man, this is turning out to be really nice. Um, quite a nice change of pace, to be honest. Um, so... Anyway, uh, getting back to E3, uh, Sony, not bad, not too great either, Last Guardian, not shown, but they say that it's still in development, but I have a feeling that it's going to turn into one of those, one of those games that is perpetually in development, unfortunately. Um, uh, for those of you who do not know what The Last Guardian is, it's the, uh, it's like the spiritual sequel to the, uh, what is it? The spiritual sequel to um, Shadow of the Colossus, which is very, which is a really good game. Um, so I guess each one of these sides has a little hole, a little door in it. I guess we're gonna have to find our way through there. Um, I wonder what kind of things. I know the other way had what sounded like a what? Come on. Oh, I guess you have to be small in this room? But what's the point of it? What's the point of this room? This is a dummy room? I guess. Um, anyway, that's interesting. Uh, on the other side, there is a fairy on that side in there. But we uh, can't capture the fairy yet. But we'll we, we'll keep that in mind for later. Um. So let's see here. So to quickly recap, uh, Microsoft F Sony solid B. Maybe if they showed a little bit more and uh, and actually talked about the. 25 Vita titles instead of Wonderbook that are coming out. Coming out, I would have given a B plus, A minus. Uh, now Nintendo, um, how their how their conference was set up to end on Nintendo Land. I honestly, it, I because of that, I would give it. I'm going to give it a B. Uh, maybe a B plus. Um, just because they they finally revealed uh, Pikmin uh, Pikmin 3 you know, like had a little trailer for that and Pikmin 3 looks fantastic um, so finally Nintendo's got Nintendo's it seems like Nintendo's finally gonna be back on top um, which I don't know with like the type of titles that they come out with which I I'm a fan of I'm really glad that they're finally getting their stuff together. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't know. It's just like we, even though you had virtual console and all sorts of other other things like that that were nice to have, it just felt like it was too much of too much of the casual market and not too and not too heavy into the uh, the hardcore market where they should be. Uh, uh, catering towards so there's a hundred and 120 bananas so we're actually going to need a uh, eh, I guess Don Kong's gonna give up some 
Um, so yeah. However, how I feel um, what should have happened is that their conference should have been flipped around. Is that they should have showed started off with Nintendo Land and then ended off with Miyamoto and Pikmin 3. That's my opinion, though. And I feel as though if that had happened, then they would have um, would have ended up ended on that. Oh my gosh, Pikmin 3, kind of like that note, you know, kind of had like a little bit of a, a little little zing or a little punch to the end of it. Um, but anyway, not overall E3, not bad, though not great either. Um. As a whole, I wasn't too impressed with E3. Um, last year, E3 was fantastic last year for 2011. But 2012, not bad, not good either. But all we can do is hope for next year, right? Unfortunately, that's the truth. So, we have finally opened up the door to the second boss. Finally! And I guess we'll be taking him on. Uh, I'm looking at my timer, and wow, I do have time. Ow. It actually hurts. Uh, <laughs> no, when I was looking over at my clock, I cracked a bone. <laughs> anyway, yes, say hello to the boss of Angry Aztec. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's like the mother dragonfly something like that but man this thing is so pissed it's spitting fire but just as the first boss this one not too hard all in it all it is is just you gotta you gotta be on your toes that's all it is be on your toes because I think I think maybe later on he begins to bracket you I'm not too sure if he does or not. I'm not too sure. But for some reason, I distinctly remember him bracket. <coughs> oh, excuse me. My throat's starting to get a little bit dry. A little bit dry. After recording a couple episodes. Alright. Let's, let's just keep dodging, I guess. There's not much to do <laughs> in this boss fight. Uh, the real interesting, uh, interesting boss fights start at uh, start next level. Yes, and three hits are dead. Yep. Like all, what seems to be almost all rareware enemies go down with three hits. That's for bosses, I should say. Though Benji Kazooie. Uh, that's that's different. <laughs> but anyway, all right, hold on, hold on to your seats, kids. Let's let's teleport our way back to. Oops, teleport our way back to back to the beginning, and let's look at our totals. This should be good enough around here. So uh, let's see here. Okay, Angry Aztec. Diddy, check. Donkey Kong, check. Uh, Tiny, check. Lanky, check. We are done! We are done! Woo! Wait, have we learned this yet? No, we haven't learned that yet. Darn. I guess we'll just, uh, we'll... Uh, there's, a, there's a specific move that you need to uh, break the little uh, mounds of dirt. But we'll learn that soon enough. Um, wow. So, I guess we'll end off on a very, very... Wow! I'm getting hurt. I can't see a damn thing. Man. My settings are really hokey. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I just... <laughs> I was out a couple days ago, and uh, I was going through the store, and I heard like some old, some um, old woman uh, talking on her cell phone, and 
she she said that something was hokey and I had to bust out laughing because that well I didn't I didn't laugh right then but really thinking about it now that's a funny word hokey I don't even know <laughs> I gotta look that up but um anyway let's end on a very very good note um, and let's unlock another one of uh, K. Lumsey's doors or er, not doors locks that's it man 13 episodes and only two locks Ugh. <laughs> I'm just kidding ah, no it just it's just like um, if you don't know where you're going this game can get really uh, I don't know, it can just wear on you. Because you just, you just, just... Blah, blah, blah. Wow, I'm starting to stutter. You just don't feel like you're getting anywhere. Um, oh, but hey, here's something. Uh, Kate Lumsey actually opens up two doors uh, for this time around. And I think that that's actually the only time that he actually does. So... Um, so... It'll actually be quite a while before we come back to see K. Lumsey again. So, next time, we will take on the, uh, the third world. But, until then, this is I have been Hellfinator, and, uh, oh, next episode we'll also be going there. We'll be going there first, because so we've got some stuff to do there. Um, it's really quick, so... It's not too bad. So, I have been Hellfinator, and thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing, commenting, and rating. So, I'll see you guys next time for Donkey Kong 64. See ya.